I'm so small. Eh. Oh. Good job, me. Oh. Okay. Let's be careful. Okay, so somewhere over here there's gonna be a toggle for the tiles. That's a checkpoint. There it is. Ta-da! Ooh! The music up. Oh, I thought it was gonna alternate the tiles so that all the ones that were existing already were gonna go away. But no, they just filled them in. I like the music amping up. Ah! Don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> You've really got to stop dead in your tracks during the, sc the screen transition because... Oops. Your character will just keep running forward. <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm not trusting that. God damn screen transitions. Unlocked up. Oh, it's double jump. I was like, that's weird. I just unlocked the, the ability to use arrows. There weren't any arrows before, so it's not very Metroidvania y to do it that way. But no, it's a whole double jump. I like the part where I die repeatedly to the thing that I got on my first try. Brutal. There we go. Oh, thank god. Okay. That part's dead to me now. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Oop. Don't get too hoppy. Okay, surprise crystal. Oh, a little too far. <clears throat> oh, ah! That was a mistake, obviously. Overall, this is pretty simple. No! 
That is the real trick, is just jump down when it's already heading to the right. Then I don't have to deal with the idea of it pushing me into the spikes. Is this safe? Okay. Because throughout this whole experience, I've been not sure if going down is good or bad. Like, will it kill me or just send me to the past? I'm not timing this right. Ooh, I almost died. Oh, okay, a jetpack. That room, that room definitely reminded me of a, a, a V. I never beat V. V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V Six minutes, 20 deaths. Oh. Damn. Well, I'm not feeling very cash money right now, am I? Oh well. Well, that's that mystery solved. About the trinket. Okay, it's gone now. Why is this one on my map? Uh, what I solved that? Silk Square? Something painting? I do have the cursed hat, yeah. Oh well. So it looks like I, I don't keep the cartridge, it stays inside the game. Makes me think I'm maybe supposed to use all of them up or something? Like they might all have a place that you can spend them? At this point, I've lost as many of them as I've gained. But I don't know how to get how to necessarily get rid of the other ones yet. And in the case of something like the uh, treasure hunt, treasure map, I've already done the hunt. I'm surprised that I kept the map. But maybe you don't just get rid of all of them. All right. Well, now we're going to the sky garden. This is Sky Garden. This is... my home? What's wrong? Sky Garden's supposed to be a rainbow. A tree overflowing with flowers of every hue and shade, all year round. This didn't look like any... this dinner any... <laughs> I can't, I can't. This didn't look anything like the stories my da told me. Yeah, never heard that flower stuff before. Sky Garden's a fortress, a military stronghold. I forgot this person's voice. I forgot a lot of the voices again. No rainbows here. I see. Hey, I need to get down. Let's run over the details of, you know, Plan S. Right, the plan. Okay, so we're booked for performance with Squirrel Duke, Squirrel Duke at noon. Bruce, you and I walk in. And they would play, right? Because they're musicians. And play their socks off. Exactly. Then, while Duke's cord is distracted, I'll scale the outer wall, climb through an upper floor window, find the treasure room, break open some chests, and steal the pebble of Skewn. You know, it seems like I've got the harder task here. Can you imagine it? Can you manage it, Pocket? Are you kidding? I could do it blindfolded. Bruce and I will leave more- We'll leave before Duke notices anything is missing. And we'll all be in to clear. Pebble and paw. <laughs> this will be a riot. Oh, uh, one more thing, Bruce. Really sorry to say this, Lapa, but... You should tuck. Tuck? Are they... <laughs> Do they mean what I think they mean? As far as tucking goes? Your tail. The hamster's got a point. It's a dead giveaway of your, uh... 
true colors. Ah, I see. I suppose it is, ain't it? Mada always told me to be proud of my tail. You have a beautiful tail, Lapa. But if gray squirrels sniff you out as a red, I had to roll. Yeah, sorry, Lapa. Nay no bother. I'll hide it, just just for today, to survive. We're all set then. I don't trust Pocket. <laughs> Pocket's a little creepy and also they're doing all the work and have very little reason to actually cooperate with these people. And they're doing it supposedly for free. Which makes me think they're just gonna take the the pebble and run off. Given that these two characters on the right are the confirmed LGBT characters, it's interesting to then have tucking come in and that exact terminology to be used because that's that in in our world that often refers to somebody with male genitalia then they're gonna like you know push back between their legs up into their and hide it in their underwear and give off a smooth front as if they don't have it and imply it differently so i briefly thought we had an Amicus and Marco situation where one of them was going to play the, the the lady essentially, but they meant they meant but they what they mean is the dynamic between these <clears throat> different groups and that how they shouldn't be they need to not be spotted as a red squirrel, but their choice in that in saying it that way feels oddly subtextual and given that they could have said anything else. Also, it's just like significantly more intuitive to use dye or other types of disguises than to tuck because it's not just the tail his entire body is a red squirrel like there's several there's several other parts that stand out i'll see you both out here in a little while now i'll go to my bal balalaika meet you in the throne room i can do this How did you do that? Where did it go? Like, admittedly, a, a squirrel tail is probably, like, mostly hair, hair and not that much physical tail, but where the fuck did you put it? Tuck game on point. <laughs> that walk looks so sassy without the tail. The City of Opportunity, Sky Garden. What stays in Skyguard in Sky Garden? Damn it. <laughs> what happens in Sky Garden stays in Sky Garden. Jet, is that you? <laughs> wow. Uh I just did a double take. I'm gonna send a picture out for this one. Well, I've obviously gotta talk to him. <laughs> Welcome to Sky Garden. Get out of while you still can. There is no lighthouse. Josh! <laughs> Pray at the altar of Josh! It's a solid gold statue of Duke Josh. It exudes an unprecedented level of arrogance. Duke Josh glimmers. Save your game now. Okie dokie. Your game's been saved. Oh, I got, I got a skill point. Uh. Oh, yeah, I was. I remember that I was building towards that. I keep thinking about it. Bruce is level 5. This door goes to the dungeon, but it ain't visiting time, bud. The troopers with colorful swords are the Duke's dozen. Keep your head down. Don't make eye contact with them. That's my advice. Muscle shirt squirrel. It's an enormous set of plate armor. If you wore this, you wouldn't be able to walk. These shields have been painted with coats of arms, emblems of noble families. Man, making armor is my passion. But all day, every day, all I do is make and fix weaponry for the Duke's army. Feels a bit, I don't know, wrong, you know? 
You should... You should quit. If it bothers you, just quit. Ah, wish it were that simple. I got pills... To, I got bills to pay and mouths to feed. Oh yeah, wanna buy something? Maybe, what you got? I have some freshly forged plate armor on your size. Oh? Just the basic cuirass with the steel pauldrons and fowl, do you understand? Spalders are built in, sabatons and van braces not included. Oh. Aye. Those are words. Ah, uh, sorry, I got carried away. I'll make it simple. 20 seeds for this high quality armor. I'll take it. Alright, go on then. Put that out and you'll be ready to take on the world. Come to think of it, why did I buy this? I've already got an outfit for the performance. No refunds, all sales are final. Yeah, we still share an inventory across characters. And Bruce can't change gear, so it's just for other characters. It's very funny. He's the one that has a drunkenness effect, potentially, that he can get at least. Oh, it's that he does more damage when drunk. But he doesn't attack yet, so I'm not sure what to do with that, actually. Oh well. I haven't seen the armor on Blade Master Lamia. That's my finest piece. It's unbreakable. No weaknesses. Well, that sounds like foreshadowing. Like, is that stealable? You're wearing fewer clothes than ever before. Matilda. Are you friends with the little guy with the big guitar? He went upstairs. Y'all be careful now. The Duke doesn't mess around. Those two creeps always giving us weird comments. It's not like we can say anything, you know. Every morning we line up to pledge allegiance to the wayward star. Do y'all have that in Mirida? I mean, sure, the Colonel is tough, but the Blade Master is on another level. A stoat and heavy armor? That combo just has no weaknesses. Colonel Hank wields an actual god cannon, just like the ones in the Westlands. He let me hold it once. Never felt more powerful. He just whipped it out? <laughs> Why? Why are you in this game? Wow. Okay, always sunny in Philadelphia reference. That's clearly... That's clearly him. I can't remember the name of the skit right now because it's a character's... It's the name of somebody that doesn't exist or whatever, but I know... I get what's happening. Wow. You see crude drawings of a snake-like creature. There's also a strange note. Uh? Roy. Right, right, star. Roy, right, down, question mark, star? Roy, right, down, left, up, uh, star? Huh. Let's just save this for the future. Pop it into an image software and put it on the screen, and I'll deal with that later. I'm hunting a cryptid, a supposed wizard lizard of the gloaming woods. I I'm gonna have a stroke. Okay, so it's a it's a always sunny reference, and it's a king gizzard reference at the same time. Let me know if you find him. Careful, though. It might be dangerous. You see a collage of rodents' faces. Those are all the people who have gone missing the last few months. Once the Duke throws someone in the dungeons, there ain't no coming back. See a drawing of a donut-shaped earth. Ah, yeah. That was more of a work in progress. You see a book titled Christoph the Wayward by Loremaster Tobin. 
It was during the reign of King John the 16th when Christoph of Grey Clan set sail from the Westlands. He and his squirrel fleet pursued the so-called Wayward Star, crossing the treacherous open waters all the way to Rodentian shores. The Lord of Sky, of Sky Garden, Rybert, the Red, greeted the new squirrels with customary grace. However, tensions between the two clans quickly flared. That book is sus. A squirrel fleet making the Great Westland, West, Westlands Crossing on dinky rodent ships? Not a chance. If you want my theory, I reckon us greys came up here with divine help. But it's way more reasonable. I'm following a bunch of trails that go all the way to the top. Check the wall for deets, but keep it all on the down low. Absurd character. Completely absurd character. Oh my god. This bat's fucking rad. Oh my god. <laughs> the way it seamlessly transitions to the electric guitar version of the song. This is wild. Violet, the screeching creature, now on a world tour. The Duke banned me from playing anything but the Grey Anthem. One last gig, I'm flying from this rotten tree. Steel? Hey, Ocarina. Something tells me you're scheming against the Duke, so go ahead and keep that. Maybe it'll come in handy. Is that an alternate weapon? It is. It increases my damage by two. Nostalgic to the ear. Hello. So you can play any instrument you find. That's wild. It's just such a high effort Easter egg. It's high. It is admittedly a little. It, it is a little wild how dense these locations are with what seem to be like audience characters, but that is that was a cool room. This room looks too important. I'm gonna go up here. What? Look at his giant stupid super soaker. No access to the treasury, unless you want to take on my genius intellect. What does that mean? Meow, 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 meow. An enormous lance sharpened to two points. It's a god weapon, and a fearsome one at that. It's like a... it's a, a stake fork or something? An elegant halberd. The steelwork is flawless. A battle-worn claymore. Temperance is inscribed on the base of the blade. A coal-headed... a coal-headed hammer. Looks heavy. Welcome to the armory. Don't touch anything. Psst, check out what I found in prison contraband. A godly fire starter. Badass, right? It's yours for 15 seeds. Uh... Yes? Take it. You received a zap one. For a precious prince is engraved on the side. Don't tell anyone, alright? If Captain Aiden found out, I'd get my tail grilled. Is this an upgrade weapon? I assume it's not a trinket. Okay, so it's a we it's a weapon for Siobhan, but I have to get back to Siobhan. I'm supposed to polish that lance daily, but I can't even lift the damn thing. Not gonna lie, it's gross that the Duke keeps a stoat on the payroll. Just looking at that long neck freak gives me the creeps. What is it? Wow. You're just racist. Okay. Sir, don't touch the magic missiles, they're extremely volatile. The magic missiles. I'm on the watch. Doo 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 doo. Don't dawdle up here or we'll all get in trouble. Well, this sure happened. Look at that skybox. Or no, that's from the, uh, the horizon. The layered horizon. 
Oop, there's gl- Oh no, there's mistakes. Mistaken. The furthest back buildings have windows that glow, and they they glow on in front of the front buildings. Whoops. Whoops! Glitch report, glitch report, glitch report. Alright. Let's just save anything I happen to have done. See you later, Jet. Ready for the big performance? Aye, let's do this. Oh, there's the stoat. Okay, they've, they've foreshadowed this stoat a lot. Their weapon is upstairs, their armor is downstairs. People keep talking about the stoat everywhere. I feel like we're gonna fight the stoat. What is... What is the Duke's god weapon? Is that a vape pen? <laughs> is that what I'm looking at? I'm not sure. My Duke, it looks like your entertainment has arrived, lol. <laughs> Uh, better late than never. What am I looking at here? Pleasure to make your acquaintance, my duke. We are Bruce. Wow, this chair's getting loud. <laughs> and Anton the Great. We are honored to serve. Wow, your accents are pretty good. Is this a comedy set? Um... No, that's just our voices. Shame. It is a vape. He's just vaping. I don't know if this is even a weapon. I think he's just vaping. Maduk? I... Double space. Just have one question before we start. Where are all the flowers? Flowers. A rainbow of flowers is the signature of Sky Garden, nah? Huh? Is this really the time, Lapa? A rainbow of flowers. What century are you fellas from? That nonsense was removed when my great 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 grandpappy took the throne way back when. That's not right. The rainbow is the eternal symbol of Sky Garden. Just, Bruce, calm down. Wrong. The rainbow field was the symbol of Clan Red. Weakness and degeneracy. Okay, yeah, I was looking at the the red flags. The red the red and black is a choice. And then I was like, this seems a little fascist. <laughs> the red like stars. And now they're talking about degeneracy. And we had to tuck to get in here, and I'm like, hang on a minute. <laughs> I feel like they're doing something here. Another version of the song? The symbol of Clan Grey is the wayward star above a striped sea. It is a flawless emblem. Oh no, he's dead! <laughs> oh no! The star stands for strength. Iron will. The seizing of destiny made manifest. For we are one house under the gods. Indomitable with freedom and righteousness for all. Ah. We're they're referencing America. We're referencing America now. That's a great tone. Here we go. Ah, yeah. Right you are, my duke. But enough patriotism. Entertain me. You ready, Lapa? Ready as ever. Let's play Rat-Tailed Rover. That always goes down well. Sounds good to me. Follow my lead. When I say left, you press left. When I say right... I press right, and so on for up and down. I know my notes. Okay. On my mark? Oh god, can I screw up?
I panicked when they seemed to start, they seemed to stop early. I was like, wait, no, that doesn't feel like when the song ends. The members of the court are amazed. Even Duke Josh can't help but smile. Lol, that was great. Good job. 15 seeds is a tip. Aw, oh, yeah. Psst, Anton, how do you think Pocket's doing? His genius intellect. See how that works out for him. Hey! Not a good start. That music's pretty good. Oh. Thought I'd yell that for no reason. Wait a darn minute. I think I know this song. Ah! I can't remember the freaking song name. What's it called? Roaming Rodent or something? Da na na na. Pocket found the pebble of Schoon. He adds it to his his pockets. I don't know where they are. It's called Rat-tailed Rover. Ah, that's it. Thanks, pal. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Wait, what? All right, all right, that's quite enough. Not my usual jam, but I gotta say, you put on quite a show. Uh, Mr. Duke Josh, sir. Uh, sorry to interrupt, and please don't, please don't be mad, but, uh... There's been a robbery. The treasury's been ransacked. What? Uh, C Colonel Hank said that the, the culprit was a, a lone jumping mouse, or something like that. Oh no, we're gonna get it found out, Lepa. Keep your cola, babe. We can wiggle out of this. Also, don't speak out loud right now. Lol. Robbed by one mouse. Classic Hank. It's true that Hank's buffoonery knows no bounds, but still, even the boldest thief wouldn't dare to rob Sky Garden alone. If you want my counsel, Duke, there's something more going on here. A conspiracy, huh? You, Harlequin, show me your tale. Very flattered, my lord, but you're not my type. Don't be weird, I mean your actual tale. This is not a reference to the ghost of a tales, the rat with two tails, where it was in fact a penis. Very much to see, my duke, it's just a tale. Do not disrespect me. Guards. He really likes doing that trick. <laughs> hey, get your, get your hands off me, flea-bitten flag worshippers. Don't touch us. Take the mask off, too. Oh. <clears throat> well. That's interesting. La 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 la, look at his flaming tail. Yeah. Flaming. Another interesting choice of term. Take it in, ladies and gents. We are in the company of a very special guest. A squirrel of Clan Red. Haven't had one of you fellas this far south in, what, a hundred years? Lol, hey Duke, remember what the, what the Kallik told you? Thing about Rybert returning to take back his throne, <laughs> lol, lol. Shut up, Lore Master. This ain't Red Rybert. Just a pair of prancing fairies. Okay, they're doing that terminology a lot. <laughs> they're pretty much running down the list. Maduke, we're not here to take anyone's throne. Please understand, I, I just wanted to see my home, to see my heritage. My heritage, gods, this is beyond cringe. <laughs> Why do the squirrels talk like this? <laughs> I 
can't believe that the the fucking are the squirrels 4chan? Is that where we're going? My genius intellect. Guards, take him to the dungeon. Lamia, execute him at dawn. You heard the Duke. Move it, you two. I'll see you two in the morning. Right around breakfast time. Are we associating eat eating people with... Oh. Yep. Yep, they eat people. <laughs> I don't want to be eaten. It's okay. We can get out of this. Will we, though? Shut up and move... Shut it and move it, you two. What's this? New prisoners, Larry. Yes, Captain Aiden, sir. Convicted by the Duke on grand larceny, degeneracy, and treason charges. Such a list. My, oh my. And where are you taking them? I'm escorting both of them to, uh, cell 1D? Putting two friends together in the same cell. Larry, that's a basic mistake. Uh, sorry, Captain. So, what do I do? Just remember your ABCs from training. Oh. Yeah, uh... C is for, uh... Cage. Oh, yeah. Cage and separate. Keep friends apart. Yeah, that's the first three letters of the alphabet. It's C-A-S. <laughs> you got it, man. Great job. Thank you, Captain. I must hand it to you, fellas. Your ethics are lacking, but your workplace professionalism is top-notch. This one is lippy. Could have been 2E. With the dragon? She's kind of psycho, Captain. Exactly. She'll teach this one a lesson. I'm scared, Lapa. Hang in there, babe. We can find a way out of this. Hey. Hey. No touching. Get them out of here, Larry. And remember to confiscate their instruments. Yes, Captain Aiden, sir. The squirrels are bizarre. Hello. Are you a main character too? They threw my mask in with me. Well. You have a theme and everything. The dragon. So the dragon is just a rat. With a red, hide red hood. Are you a party member? You've got energy like that. Well, well, well. A fool enters the dragon's lair. Hey, I'm no fool. And you're no dragon, are you? See no wings or scales? No wings, no. But even a grounded dragon has teeth and claws. I think we got off on the wrong on the wrong paw. So let's start over. What are you in for? Same thing as you like. There's no place for queer folk in the free land of Sky Garden. Okay. Yep. <laughs> they were in fact doing a thing. I, but specifically, I hit on Blade Master Lamia. Eh? Talking about the full metal stoat. What can I say? She has a great smile. She'd eat you, given the chance. Gods, I wish. <laughs> okay, this game's incredible. It's absurd. In any case, I thought she was one of us, but clearly I misread the situation. As the next thing I knew, I was taking a steel gauntlet to the face. Hardest punch I've ever felt. Must be why they call her the Lamia the Peerless. Aye, she'd look pretty fierce. The name's Bruce, by the way. Gwenlian of... oh my god. <laughs> of Nuaidu i Duai Gwyn... I... The Hall of the White Gods. Gwen is fine. Guess I should get comfy. Enjoy my last we my last meal or something. 
Yeah. Want to escape? I think I just spotted what's going on here. Her foot's not real. She has a she's a, she she has a prosthetic foot, or she's just wearing a boot, and that's the only armor she's wearing, which seems less likely. I think her foot's prosthetic, and she's only pretending to be captured. Already. Hey, I've been sitting in here like a caged pet for a month, like... Your arrival is an opportunity, and I'm not wasting it. I'm breaking out today. I mean, yeah, escaping sounds great. But you're not going anywhere chained up like that. Right, you are. So, getting out of these shackles is step one in my three-step master plan. The Kashkwin kept the key, keep the key for this ball and chain nearby. If you fetch it, I promise to get you safely to the surface. Tip for tap. Stealing a key from the guards, huh? I might be able to do that. Ah, but this door is a problem. You think so? Give it a proper shove. Tiny wooden statue of a hare with with butterfly wings. It's a puk puka. Did Gwen carve this from a wooden stool? The puka flies freely. Save oh, there you go. That's why it was glittering. Oh, she's in my party already. Or at least it, she glows like she is. I'm having fun with this. An an uh, in suit in an en ensuite bathroom. Very fancy. Remnants of moldy breadcrumbs. This is not Vi's gourmet cuisine. A god-made shackle. Looks nigh unbreakable. It's a master lock or something? We can chat later. Try the door first. Whoa. It actually opened. Yep. The door is locked, rusted through. The catch one in the uniform just haven't noticed. On that note, those idiots will be doing regular patrols. You're unarmed, so stay out of their line of sight. Got it. Be quiet as a louse. Snap the key. They'll be back here before you can say, hard time. The fool has spirits, but does he have skill? Let's find out. 2D. Ah! They're gonna come back, aren't they? Nope. I saw them stop and freaked out. Ooh, the bagpipes. Aha! Got the key. Gotta get back to Gwen. Oh yeah, because the god key for the god lock. So it's huge. Hey! <laughs> you walk around? I think, I think it's a trap. <laughs> She's already out. I called it, didn't I? Hey, Gwen, look. I brought the... You're already free? You were taking too long. Time's fleeting. When did you... Why did you send me out searching for a key if you could just free yourself? It was a test. Of your abilities. And of your character. And you passed both with flying colors. Okay, sure, but, uh, how? Leg comes off. What? I called it. Leg comes off. What? Okay, this conversation is getting tiresome. Let's move on. Step two, taking back our weapons. My glive is being kept in a storage room on this floor. That's where your weapon is too, I bet. Right. My weapon. You... did bring a weapon, like? Oh, I, uh... not much of a warrior, but I brought the tools of my trade. Cracking. We've still got to stay out of, of sight until we get our weapons. But from here on out, the red dragon will lead the way. Got it? I'll step close to your tail. Gwen has joined the party, and now I play as Gwen. Okay. So I was right about them being a party member. 
they're leading the party, but they're the second character. Oh, they've got stitches up both legs. Do both legs cut them off? Hmm. And they have a scalpel for a weapon, which is wild. Have to be unbreakable. Yeah, we're not playing with this thing again. But armor up. Okay, so I already got armor. That'll help us in advance. Bonus armor and a bit of healing. I guess. Thankfully this guy can just heal, so we need them less. Our idle animation is her sharpening the the scalpel. That's neat. So much character in this game. Sounds like it took forever to make. So that's still there. We need to get to D1. I do wonder what happens if I get caught. Do we fight? Uh! How did you escape? Whatever, I'm taking you in. I got spotted. That's okay. Let's try again. Okay, if you get spotted, you just lose. You do not use your weapons. So she's the tallest party member. Picked up the prison key again. I guess they would have taken it away, yeah. That makes sense. We're not gonna bust anyone else out. I guess we would get caught. Ah! Damn, spotted again. My bad. It's fine. We can do this. You think they'd pick up on it at some point? It's time for the mandatory stealth segment that happens in so many video games like Zelda and whatnot. And it's always a little rough. Just a little mini game to play through, but there's not much to it. Because ine inevitably it's just a bunch of characters walking in patterns and you just have to walk by at the right time. And that's the whole game. The test of patience and observation, but also just like, a often a bit of trial and error, just because every mistake instantly fails you. Holy chocolate! Did a guard stash this for later? Heals for 15, okay. her various defense up, she's going to be comically hard to kill. What? <laughs> it's like a Bratz doll or something? This is it? The storage and contraband room. Oh, she didn't have her weapon yet. Right. It's just the the screen made me think, got me mixed up a little bit. And this is my glaive. A fierce weapon, specialty of Whitehall. Is it called Whitehall because it's a hospital? Are they lab rats? That way she doesn't have legs. It features a 15 centimeter grooved grip for maximum reach. The stainless steel material provides unparalleled hardness and durability. And of course, the crescent covered blade is more than sharp enough to cut anything that moves. Sure like weapons, huh? We all have hobbies. So where's yours? Here we are. The flute. <laughs> Made of wood. I think. I see. Is it a... a gun flute? Hey, don't underestimate the power of music, lass. The right melody can thaw a frozen heart or tame a fierce titan. So, what's step three of your master plan? We bash in some guard skulls and walk out the front door. Whoa, now, I'm not bashing any skulls. I'm a bard, not a fighter. <laughs> Is that a principal thing or an uwu soft boy thing? I'm losing my mind with this game. 
I just believe that all this violence gets us nowhere. If we treat each other with kindness and respect, the world would be a nicer place, no? Hmm. Okay. I think I understand. I'm gonna kindly and respectfully show the Kachki guarding the lift to the edge of my blade. Eesh. There's no dissuading you, is there? I'll just let him support in my own way. By tuning your flute. Aye. I hope that'll be enough for whatever we'll face. Let's move. Is it a... <laughs> it's a, it's a Beyblade! Is it a gun flute? <laughs> it's a weapon or a god toy? I cannot tell. Neither can we. You see an incredibly lewd magazine titled Squeak. Oh my god! Golly gee willikers! Damn! Here we go! Pin up of the century. <laughs> what you got there? Oh! Smut. What do you think, Bruce? Left or right? Uh, it's gonna have to be left for me. How about you? Oh, I'd never choose. It'd be like only ordering one pastry from the menu of one of them fancy Muradin cafes. Not that I've ever been, but once you break out, like... Right. I... I understand entirely. Enough perving. Let's mosey. <laughs> Which one, left or right? Oh, I'd never choose. Alright, well, that sorts out questions about characters. Remember your ABCs. Aim high, be proactive, cage, and separate friends. Captain Aiden. Aim high, be proactive, cage, and separate friends. Captain Aiden. Smiley face. This, so, this game's so fucking absurd. Oh my god. Captain Aiden. Dice and playing cards. No fun allowed, it seems. No fun allowed? Oh, because it's, it's locked up. Easy contraband food and alcohol. Someone's already raided the good stuff, though. That's a whole D20. These are fire starters. Definitely forbidden in a prison. Why don't we grab it? It's like a bomb. Stay positive, work hard, and get it done. Captain Aiden. You see an incredibly lewd magazine. Gwen? Sheesh, all right, all right. <laughs> you can't just keep looking at it. It's an effigy, seemingly God-made. The features are exaggerated to the point of caricature. Why would a rodent have this? The effigy stares blankly. Save your game. You see a book titled The Rat of War by Sun Shrew. <laughs> A strike to an enemy's shield afflicts a defense break, wherein the enemy will take increased damage from successive strikes for a small window of time. An opportunity to go on the offensive. Conversely, a strike to an enemy's sword afflicts an attack break, wherein the enemy will find their own strikes to be weaker for a small window of time. An opportunity to recuperate. When a warrior learns to balance their offensive and defensive measures, they will then have learned the key to victory. Just save in case it keeps track of what you've read, but I don't know if it does. Okay. This game is wild. Alright. I have been enjoying this. I guess we're armed, so we just murder everyone now. How did you escape? Whatever, I'm taking you in. Or are you? Oh yeah, there's sword break and shield break. I thought they meant that now that we're fighting people that have weapons, I'm not going to be able to target people's weapons. But it's just, I think this is just specifically her abilities. So lower their attack or lower their defense or just stab. Alright. What if he made you easier to kill? Although how long does the break last? Bonus turn.
I'd probably particularly believe in the bard guy too if he had the ability to make me move twice as fast. Bye. Hey, Gwen. Yeah? Not to pry, but what were you doing in Skyguard in the first place? <clears throat> Wait, how do we get... When are we getting the guy back from D1? I left my birth town a while back. It wasn't my scene, like... Since then, I've been searching for a place to call home. I heard Sky Garden was the city of opportunity, and I wanted to see that for myself. But you only found a city of scumbags, eh? That's... putting it lightly. But hey! If the Kashkuin here think that I'm some sick and twisted dragon, I'll show them a dragon. My turn to pry. You wear a mask to hide who you are, right? I... I'm a squirrel of clown red. But you've already been outed, so why bother with the mask? It's like you're ashamed of who you are. Ashamed? Of course I'm ashamed. How am I supposed to stand proud with the, when the mere sight of my face gets me locked up? They're going to lock you up either way. Isn't it better to go down with your tail out and your teeth barred? Bared? Long lift. Oh, there's 1D. Okay. 1D. The Xanton cell. Your boyfriend. Anton, can you hear me? Bruce? You're breaking out already? Aye, just a sec. Gwen, can you bust down this door? The noise would alert every guard in the prison. You're strong, you can take him. You flatter me, but no. Here's a better idea. The guard captain will have a master key. If we beat him up, we can open every cage in this catch you hole. The guard captain? Lanky twat in a big coat. Oh, aye, that one. I saw him on the way in. Sit tight, Anton. We'll be back soon. Stay safe, Lapa. Eh? Oh, well, I'm not getting away from that. I love my bludgeon. I call him Mr. Wacky. Oh. Given that our health doesn't go down over time, we can actually just kind of keep going. <clears throat> There's not much stopping me from just destroying everyone. Could go back downstairs and clear out the whole map. Let's see. I don't know if experience points exist, though. It's worth questioning. I don't know if you get experience in this game or if you just get levels that enter at certain set intervals in the story. Like the side quest. How is that on top of the wall? You just could go like all the way around. Being thrown off by the brum 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 because it keeps making me think of the Metal Gear song. Brum 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 brum. He found some iron knuckles. They pack a punch. Who are those for? You can't use iron knuckles. Plus three attack. Wow. Favored by hard lads. Alright, let's get my defense and attack up then. Just to hang just hang out with some stat bonuses exclusively. And just have our bard take care of any damage that comes. I'm sad about her cut up legs. Are both of uh 
Are both of her legs cut off? Stay safe, Lapa. It's very goofy that you can just walk on top of the walls. Oh, are we just walking in? 